We decided to hold Bee Fest when we found out that Lorenzo Langstroth lived in Greenfield in the late 1840s. He was the father of modern beekeeping. He was the minister of Second Congregational Church. He wrote his seminal book, The Hive and the Honey Bee. It's considered to be the Bible of modern beekeeping. And he also developed the movable frame beehive. And that was a big contribution to both beekeeping and to agriculture. We started with children's events, trying to have them feel comfortable around bees, but it's grown over the years. Now we have a bee crosswalk, we have bees on the lampposts, we have bees on our parking garage, uh, we have a whole park dedicated to Lorenzo Langstroth. We teamed up with Rachel Katz, who's a local artist and engineer, so we decided to create a fiberglass bee uh, that we could replicate throughout town. We're one of very few towns that actually designed and sculpted our own model. Most uh, cities just order out of the catalogs, but the bees that we have in Greenfield uh, were homegrown and unique to us. Bees embody so much of what we do, and they represent so much of the parts of Greenfield that I like. The industriousness, the sense of community that we have. They appeal to everybody from children to adults to farmers and pollinators are present. There's an awareness growing around them now, especially with all the agriculture that's so key to this area and the organic farming. It just seemed a natural to me. So my childhood was very focused on the sciences and I just naturally followed that path as I got to school. I realized pretty quickly that I wanted out of engineering and to explore the more artistic, creative part. So ever since, I've been working on how to use that skill set in a more artistic way. And this project ended up being perfect for that. And I 3D printed it. I blew that up and I hand sculpted a three foot long one, a total of over 90 layers, I think, by the time it was done and the company to make six copies of it. They're located in Chicago, and lo and behold, the, the president and CEO of Greenfield Savings Bank, John Howland, he actually personally drove it himself in a marathon, 18-hour drive out to Chicago. The bases were designed by local artist and engineer, Eric Schimmelfennig. He was the one who came up with the idea of that beautiful honeycomb pattern on the panels in the bases. We found six artists, they painted them glorious colors with their own themes, and now there's another joy when you come to Greenfield to learn about these bees. Most of my work revolves around Celtic themes, and I knew a little bit about the mythology of bees uh, as it pertains to, to the Celtic peoples. Bees have been recognized as being a part of the, the daily life of peoples in, in Britain. They're part of the cycle of life. All my paintings and everything I do start with pencil drawings and then I actually enlarged that on the computer and then traced off the designs. It took me about three months to do. Celtic knotwork, it's where the positive and the negative space are pretty much in exact balance with each other. And I think that's something that we as a people are trying to strive for uh, right now on, on the planet is trying to find a balance where we can all live together and we can live in harmony with nature. I think a lot of that has to do with community. And the interlacing patterns hopefully show how we are connected. So in thinking about creation, um, which Lorenzo Langstroth did, certainly, all his life, we come to understand the bee as a, a magnificent creature of creation that is actually the link in the food chain between how we eat and what we eat. Bees are alive, they're vital, they represent life, they're necessary for life. Bees are really kind of our life partner. But I'm very hopeful that now that they can see how they change the look of the town, is that we can continue to expand the number of them as time goes on and to where we can eventually create a tour. If you want to see Greenfield's bees, you got to come to Greenfield's.